Hey guys, Jay here, and uh, welcome to the Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. We've got everything all set up here. As you can see, we already know what the start is going to be. I've been trying to skip through this beginning part of the story. Hey Rose. Oh, uh, hello everybody. Hope you're doing good. Luckily, I conveniently got it just in time for this. My boy! Boo! Me as a Pokemon. Hello, everybody. Hopefully. Look at him! Look at the boy! He's gonna do me well! Hopefully. Flirting. And I've already come up with the nickname of our little uh, green friend here. I don't really need to worry about anything until I get to the first uh, encounter. No, nope. the theme of the ca the theming of the nicknames is going to be animated characters. That be for film, that be for TV or gaming. Hello, my boy. Come, let us make fun. I shall name him. Does Funky have a E or what? Does Funky? Hi. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, there's a big Tori in this in the screen. There's a big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, does that mean I have to catch Tori? No. <laughs> I swear to God, you better not. That'd be funny. I know someone who'd want to catch you though. <laughs> yeah. Right, um, does Funky have an E or is it just straight a Y after the K? Funky? Yeah. It's a Funky. Yeah, but is it F-U-N-K-Y or is it F-N-K-E-Y? Um... Wait. Ah, yeah, right. it's, it's yeah. F U. Where did the other one come from? I was like, huh? Henceforth, he shall be known as Funky Kong. Oh. Bye bye. And he's not gonna die in the first episode. Depresso Cappuccino. Depresso Cappuccino. Oh god. Oh, it's good to see everyone here. No, I will not be on my lone with my crippling. -ing. I just oh, let people know. <laughs> good. Score Bunny's the worst. And it makes Excuse the. Excuse you. It makes the champion fight easier because I've got two fire types to deal with. How is that easier? No, we are not catching people. Considering Rose tried to catch you. <laughs> Mind blown. Oh, well, just to be clear as well, the story isn't going to be um, caught up on. So, like, we'll just skip through stuff because. If we're gonna do the story, I'd be doing a playthrough, not a Nuzlocke. Fair enough. Oh, I need to put the name onto the thing. Babe, I 
did it. Eh. No. That's a bit awkward. Let's make it the same color as the type to make it more iconic. Yeah, that sounds like it's going to be one heck of a thing to go through. Uh, and I have a white outline. There. Funky Kong McGrookey has been born. Babe, I'd like to take you to the movies, but they don't let you, you bring You are already been read. Well, I haven't read it yet. I've been busy doing English. All my attention. <laughs> no pen, no paper, but you still draw my. <laughs> I should get a whip sound going. No. Also, if people are wondering about the rules of this Nuzlocke, if you put in the command exclamation mark rules, you'll get everything there. There are some unique things in there, and if you're going to say to me that this is easy, shut up. This is my first Nuzlocke. Give me a break. Ta-da! I have tea. British juice. British juice. Alright, time to shut this guy up. Probably had a firework there. Alright, let's have a quick look at Fungi Kong's stats, see how fucked I am with the nature. Usable. Usable, that. A brave nature. <laughs> I'm having lamb chops tonight! But you're not cooking it! You're not a fire type, you're a grass type! I'm scratching it though. But you're not a fire type! I can poke someone in the eye, though. Jay, you're not going to have lamb chowder if you're not cooking it right off the bat. <laughs> None shall stop my flirts. Poke. Stop stab with the eyes! No shit, Sherlock. Touch. <laughs> Not crazy. There we go. Funky Kong's at level seven. This is going to be fun. And now there's going to be a lot of linear stuff before we can actually get our first encounter. So it's going to be a bit of talking while we do this. I'm wondering what it'll be like if the mic shows up. Might take some time. Yeah, because it's Mike. I mean, he might be working. He never works on Saturdays. I'm not a queen, I'm a joker! Or the jester in this case. Oh. The closest to non binary there is in the in playing cards. I can't make this up, chat. What? Just all these, all these pickup lines. Oh. 
Is that a term? Jester, your heartstrings? Hey, I didn't even yawn. <laughs> you did earlier. Ah, I see Megaris. Hoping um, Kira gets to show up again. I think the Slumbering Wield will be a good example to show what would be a good encounter later on, and what would be the worst of other thing of all time. Case in point. That would be the worst thing ever. Branch poke. Not yet. Nozlocks only start until I get given Pokeballs, and I don't have Pokeballs yet. Oh, yeah. This is the best thing I could get. to remember I'm gonna deal with ghost types and ice types at some point in this. I'm usually used to being dealing with fighting at rock types. Ooh, yes. Ah, there's the cool bro, Meg. The cool bro. <laughs> Cool, bro. I have to be honest, Sword and Shield's encounter theme it's gotta be the worst. Honestly, it's, it gets it's one of those like ear wrenches for me. I'm not sure if anyone else is like that though. Okay. <laughs> That's a chocolate chip. <laughs> Notice how the entire theming of this area is just an a cappella of wolves howling. Also, how's the sound difference, uh, by the way? Is the game and my audio alright, or does it need adjusting? I can hear you over the game, so... Well, I'm saying, do you want to hear the game a bit more, or...? Preferably, I'd rather hear you over the game. Well, that's not ominous to jump through. Yes, big puppy. Poke. Spooky. He's got a, he's got a little, like bit of chin fuzz. And the ability to muffle people. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, sword has all my good stuff in it, and I'm not sacrificing <laughs> flipping good stuff for a nuzlocke, Meg. I 
dog used carbon monoxide. It was very effective. No, dog uh, casts um, fog. A nuzkey. What's a nuzkey? Key. Do you think that cape is a bit over the top? Look, especially with all the sponsors. Do I see NordVPN on there? No. It's funny thinking about a Charizard flying along with a Wulu in its hands. Cute. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I found, um, obviously, Pokemon comic. Obviously, Rose has never seen any Incredibles before them. No caps. Uh. Well, I had to make the joke somewhere. Need to remember to download Fwacky and Rillaboom's uh, gifts for later on. The online of the, the run. Then you should know capes are no no. No capes. No capes. No capes! I need to try and find something to name Edna. <laughs> Maybe if I find a Gothitelle, that'd be good. Gothitelle? Yeah, edgy psyche type. Mm. Okay. Just huh? to be clear. I have five Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke has officially begun. So the next Pokemon I bump into, I am forced to catch. I have my fingers crossed for Rookie D. Remember, you're only allowed to press the first catch of the Pokemon into the route onto the, on your way to the gym. Obviously, for this to work, I'm going to have. For this to work, I'm going to have to cover my eyes while I walk into the grass. And go. My first encounter is. For God's sake! The squirrel! <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Might be a good bulky switching option, I guess. No! Edna Mod. And guess. Alright, let's get Squirvis' thing up while I'm trying to catch it. No. Oh, you're right. Just a second. Uh, media file. I'm all right. Can you name it Hammy from Over the Hedge? <gasps> I was. Hammy! I was already thinking that. I was already thinking that. Meg, you have my brain cells. Give it back. <laughs> there. Big squirrel. And Big text. Squirrel. Jay versus squirrel. This might be a reoccurrence. <laughs> Okay, we'll make it br uh, gray since it's normal type. White outlining. Uh, be careful when you do the the sky the the, the flying types. Uh, since flying types have a certain hue of blue. Or was it the ice types? Jaded underscore O's seventeen just redeemed posture check. How evil. Yes, how evil indeed. 
Hami the Scovet. Oh, oh, I can buy my ABCs. <laughs> Oh, I could have bumped into you. Best possible course of action is if it was a shiny. Alright, my next encounter will be up at Route 2. Um, it's ready to fight, but <laughs> yeah, it's just a case of we have to just start a fight. In no, I, no, I can't seem to search for anybody. Cause I don't have it up on. Yeah. <laughs> eh, not the best for what it's supposed to be. Huh? I'm sure Funky Kong will carry for the moment. I would have took it a Wooloo. Wooloo's... Wooloo could have been good. What? Nah, Meg. I got full odds going here, so it's very rare. It'd be cool, though. Alright, let's go and talk to uh, everyone's favorite uh, Poke Girl from Sword and Shield. I'm not joking, if you look on Twitter, you'll eventually find some sort of fan art from this character. Full odds don't matter. Considering what. Y if it does happen, I'm naming it Meg. I think this is going to be the point in time where Rose is going to lose a brain cell for how cute Yamper is. <gasps> and there's Sonya. Everyone's favourite character in this game. They have seen the puppy. I repeat, they have seen the puppy. Sonia. We're <laughs> considering it's based on a corgi. An adorable corgi. I have a plot twist, by the way. It'd be cool to get Rotom. Hey, what, Joe? You still there? Nothing. I've just been randomly getting like really bad pain in my wrist whenever I do this or this. Ow. So my parents just gave me that to do. Maybe my mom first thought it was carpal tunnel, but I don't think so. I don't need no potions. Feels kind of exciting finally doing one of these. I'm still terrified though. Hey, could you start like stream writers? Cause I can't search for you for some odd reason. <laughs> I'll get the stream writers going. But it's like I can't even search in stream writers. You know how like there's a search option? I can't even use it to search for you and I'm pissed. Who says you're getting bapped? It's Jay who's getting bapped.
also with um with streamers finally switching on over to uh, this account it's um all of my info on my other account is gone oh Come on, Royal God Templar. I don't know, I keep biting you in fuzzy, so I don't... I thought of something now, but I'm not gonna say anything. Mm, my original death penalty, death penalty, with a newspaper. Sorry about the background noise, I think some idiot's firing off fireworks again. All I hear is the stream reader's thing. Good. There. There we go. <sighs> The worst part about any Pokemon game, the tutorial. No, it is not. I let you know everything around here. I have a little, uh, I, I have a little uh, bed right behind that guy's desk. That's how much I've been in this game. I, I've got, I've got my own living quarters. <laughs> I better put me birthday in. Help, I can't join any, just anyone. It's like... I, I did put it up. It's, it's... It's not even... I can't search for anyone. I can't do jack shit. I don't know. <laughs> There's a downloadable client? Where is it? Yay! Oh, fucking girls! Where? Yay, free money! Alright, route two, my next encounter. Twenty Pokeballs. <laughs> All right, get ready for our next encounter, which will contain. A Nicket. So that means no Corviknight. One more, that should do it. To name a female Nicket. Found you, finally. Look me 
ages. Cunning and swiper. But it's a, it's a female Nicket. And as far as I know, uh, Swiper didn't go for, for a sex change. <laughs> Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon yeah. survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail as it makes off with its plunder. Hmm. A female fox character. Oh, hello. Gender, purple clipped. Hello. Purple clipped. Purple clipped. What? Just purple followed. clipped. That isn't who I think it is, is it? <laughs> right, By the way, remember to have fun. <laughs> um, ooh. I'm checking them out now. I'll do my best for book clipped. <laughs> Shame I didn't get caught on it though. Uh, I think. <laughs> Not the government. Tourism was created by the government. <laughs> Should I go Kiriko? <laughs> um, um, uh, I'll go Swiper. It's a it's a neutral gender name. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Don't ask me why it took so long to come up with a decent choice. <laughs> mm. Let's have a look at honest. Swiper. Anybody can love stealing and taking things. Beat up looks like only it was a cat. I better go back and heal up before I carry on. The question is, when I get to the wild area, should I have two encounters or should I? Well, it's me ah. from Discord. I, I get it is now. I was asking I was asking some advice on a Discord I was in about Nuzlocks. And um, oh. um a guy offered to join the stream. Hello They're um we're in the same Discord for a, a streamer or oh, YouTuber these days called Purple Cliff. Purple Cliff? He's called Purple Cliff. <laughs> yeah. I'll say though. Spoiler alert about Purple Cliff. He can't finish a Nuzlocke to save his life. Fair enough. True, that might be because every time he laughs at funny videos video people send to him, he has to release a Pokemon. You can see mm. how bad that gets. Mm. Uh, yeah, Purple Cliff, if you want to have a look at the rules we're going by, uh, if you put exclamation point rules, that you'll see there. Oh, please be nice. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Ami, don't do that to me, man. Let me live. Let me live. No. Ay, 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 ay. Am I trying to level up the squirrel? Would have been really nice to get the Skelarian Zigzagoon, frankly, because I I know this thing could be very defensive. <laughs> Maybe I should have permitted that I was allowed healing outside of battle. Yeah, 
In case anyone was wondering, I'm allowed to heal outside of battle. Just once. No. Okay. It means I've got to keep going back and forth to the Pokemon Center. Well, it seems like you have come to an impasse. If anything, I'm just trying to get Hammy to catch up. I feel like Hammy would be one of those team members that just stare off into space. Like, it's like our team's Quagsire. Hmm. Which is very ironic considering the, uh situation of how Hammy is in the film over the hedge. Just remember, once they faint, you can't use them again. Yes, ominous voice in my head. I am right here on the stream! <laughs> you don't have to rub it in! Look at Come on, man! Okay, why is it a nightmare to actually run from things in this? <laughs> My first victim. Him. Okay. Let's try tail whip. How oh, ironic, Peppa Clip just made a video about opening Pokemon bugs. Hmm. Ah, da 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 da. You're in trouble. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be a reoccurring theme with uh, Sammy? <laughs> You're in trouble. Why? What? What? This is honestly why I honestly thought I was going to have problems with ha having a flipping squover. Beat up the squirrel. That's not very powerful. Yes, it is. Things will get more interesting by the time we reach the wild area, because we'll have that, our first two encounters from the wild area there. Got it. Oh, so it's okay for Jay to say my first victim, but when I say it, it's a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, I've, I've made a decision. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm allowed healing outside of battle, inside battles? No. It just makes it easier than just going back to the Pokemon Center every time I take that one hit. Heels. Trust me, when it comes to potion management, I'm not bad. Yeah. Sorry, not all of your heals, all your revives. Revives, I'm going to be selling for extra money. Fair enough. You got juice. 
Do you have a British juice? No. Do you have water? Ah, uh, you could I say no. You could say water is earth juice. I'm gonna take that as a no. No, I do not. Limeade. I'm having to switch train this flipping guy. I don't have water. Water. Whoa, what was that? That was weird. It's already an hour. We haven't gone to the wild area yet. Good going, Swiper. You're basically carrying me this bit. The plot thickens. A blip bug. Those things are fun to use, honestly. Wow, 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 wow. Even at full level underneath, Fippin' Squove, it's still slower. Yeast does a lot more damage, I guess. Oh crap, nice. I think. No, it wasn't a crit, though. Nick it. Let's get Funky Kong back out. Okay, I'm gonna have to be a little louder. Go get it then! Alright. Not now. Oh my god. Poke. Poke. <laughs> he dead. No one wants me to bite them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 420. I think I handled that battle better than the other lot. Oh, I forgot to put Nick in. That sounds so wrong if I say that quickly. Get Nick in. Confused. What? Never mind, I hear it now. <laughs> Alright, go. People usually go for a brown for the dark type. A darker brown than that.
media file. Wiper the naked. <sighs> Skip through dialogue. Why not? I'm sure, you should. Whispers from strangers. To be fair, you keep telling me to do that. <laughs> mm. There we go. This is my other account, so. You're not a stranger. You're just strange. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, as a big brain player as myself, I know there's a little secret back here. A TM. For payback. Apparently only Hammy can learn it. I may be strange, but Twitch doesn't get to call me a stranger. <laughs> Alright, time to get rid of Depresso Cappuccino. <laughs> I think that name's gonna stick with this guy. as you would put it. Let's do payback since it is slower. And of course you don't attack that turn. Why did that remind me of Black Whip from My Hero Academia? Like that move that Deku learns. Mm. Nicket has learned home claws. I should really start using the actual nicknames. Nicket. Funky Kong, time to get out of the summer. Go click. It'd be good to upload VODs again. Poke. Hehe, <laughs> one shot. I guess that explains why Tori's gone quiet all of a sudden. Huh? Uh, oh you, no, you I'm flipping have... back and forth. <laughs> you might want to look back at your whispers. I, I read them! You're just not acknowledging them? 
I have. I'm just confused. Not only that, my friends are exploring a really pretty structure on Minecraft. I wanted the bird. Well, you don't get the bird. Let's speed it up. Not very powerful. Oh, easy now. And there we go. <laughs> what the heck was that about? I yawn. Oh, there's no sleepy Tori. No, there's no sleepy Tori. There should be. No. Yes. Besides, uh, there's not a natural enough room for me doing the stretch like I did with yours. I keep forgetting how much this game lags a bit when you're playing in dock mode. Ah, the gimmick of this game. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of button mashing now trying to get through this story segment. All it's gonna be is just blah blah blah. You, we found thing that make Pokemon go big. We are good, we are win, let's go. Good God, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis? Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of day. I miss my wife, Tails. Just yes. I miss my wife, Tails, how evil. I miss my wife, Tails. <laughs> Maybe I should make that smaller. Aurora Borealis would be a beautiful name for a baby girl. Mm. What's the hmm for? You don't like the idea of someone being called Aurora Borealis? Borealis. <laughs> that would be her nickname. Boris. Imagine someone just coughing, constantly calling her Borealis. You know there's going to be some people born in the next few years that are unfortunately going to be called Aurora Borealis. Just because it's a reference to a meme. Well, imagine that one day in the future, some kid is just wondering, Mom, why am I called Aurora? Oh, it's because of a stupid meme that was made 20 years ago. Mm. Although there is a Disney princess, na Disney princess named Aurora. Mm-hmm. Oh, should we leave it alone? Should we back off? Should we play safe? Now nah, you think? Let's make it bigger. I hope someone got the reference. No. I don't think it'll matter this much, but I'll turn on the internet. And why am I a scientist woman? Why am I Why am I a scientist? I am no big brain. I am small brain. I don't have any brain cells. Dwagon. Dwagon. Battle. Let us go. 
gets two encounters in the wild area. <laughs> you trying to do a Batman? 30 seconds left. Does remind me actually. You're all the way up there. I'm all the way in all sorts of other places. There. Take your love. All right, Rose. See you later. Oh. Let's get Mr. T with a mace. Oops. There. Ignore my mouse. Oh. Everything okay with you, Meg? Everything alright? That was a Pokemon cry then, you saying you do making that noise. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, I've never heard that one before. Although maybe it did sound a little bit like a roly coly. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you'd be wanting to bowl this gate after this. Like when I'm finished here. I think I might go as far as the first gym. I kinda wanna buy some clothes for my character. And in case anyone is wondering, the main reason why I'm playing as the female protagonist is, I have to admit, from the eyes of an artist, for some weird reason, female characters get more customization options. Mm -hmm. It's annoying. A Pokemon I'm hoping to get when we get to the wild area is a Togepi. Right. Let's buy some potions. But first, we'll sell the revive. Revives are going to be big money during this. Alright. Let's go for 20 for now. We're alright with Pokeballs for now. This feels so out of whack for me. I always plan my different teams out. It's so weird. It's 
swift. Swish and flick. Oh, Vana, get up. Well, to be fair, Harry Potter's not an animated character, so I can't name anyone after Harry Potter. Unless you count the drawings on the front page of the books. Yes, yes, bye, Mom. I do like the dungarees, though. It's specifically animated characters I'm looking at here. For what I'm calling people. <laughs> well, considering my character doesn't have a dad. I'm not sure if it's anything to say to be calling a hot take, but I, I really like dungarees. They look really nice for clothing. Oh god, Meg! Would it be too easy if I bumped into a Pangoro and named it Poe? Would that be too easy? So, uh, as you know, gift Pokemon are allowed, and if you talk to one of these guys here... And since I have played Let's Go Eevee, I get an Eevee. More specifically, an Eevee like in Gigantamax. What would be a good name for an... Whoops. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I'll keep that in the box for now. Because that, the, that's the thing about that Eevee. It can't be... It, that specific Eevee can't evolve. That's something I kind of forgot to mention. So maybe it might be an idea to not use it for now. So I'll put it in the box. This is more likely where most of my encounters are going to be outside of the roots. This place is massive as well. But I also have to be careful, there are some Pokemon here that are too over level to catch and can smash me. So... Okay. First off, let's put that Eevee in here. Might as well make the dead box. Dead. Dog's dead. Alright. I'll probably need it. Thank you. Okay, so... How this is going to work is... All these segments of the wild area... Are going to represent a different... Two spawns at a time. So, as you can see, this area I'm in right now, the rolling fields, will be our first two encounters in the wild area. I'll be I'll choose specifically where to walk into the grass though as well. I'll go over here. Alright. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, no, I'll go over there. Alright. Our first roaming encounter will be... An Electrike! Alright. Good work with that. Now, that strike's interesting. Make the war gym uh, easier, at least. I remember how useful electrics are during um, Gen 3 runs, especially if you're going through Sapphire. we gonna name him This is a tough one, honestly, to nickname. Animated dog character that's related to electricity. Oh, static, as in static shock. I like that. Yeah, we'll name him Static. Static, yeah. Static is interesting. Alright, now it's time for the random encounter. If I can find it. Wow, uh, the frames dip there. Okay, the random encounter here is a Metapod. I've heard it's good in this sort of thing. I highly doubt this thing's gonna be a threat against Hammy. Alright, Metapod. Hey, at least that means Butterfree soon.
Hmm. A poke. Someone who's known about butterflies. This is harder than Electrike was. Um... Uh, don't mind me, just looking around. For inspiration for this. I have a very one track mind when it comes to decorating my room. <laughs> If it was a male, I'd probably name him um, Dave. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, I think we'll name her Jewel. Yeah. There's a Sonic character called Jewel the Junebug. At least we got some more diverse types now. Alright, that'll be all for the wild area for now. It's not the best lineup, but to start. I won't mess around with the dens, by the way. I'll do some grinding off camera, like to get some candies for future Pokemon. So there's no grinding. But apart from that, there, there's nothing. That's actually. Let's actually have a look at the new members actually. Lightning rod, that's useful. That is useful. Thunder wave. Docile nature. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit before Jules shows some use.
Is this part of the rolling hills? Uh, oh, right, so we can come back here later on. It'd be good to get a Mudsdale. Mudsdale would be really useful here. Especially how tanky it is. I do not want a stuffle. If I get a stuffle, I'm using it as cannon fodder. I have a turn. Hello, and we've got some new members. Sweet! We found an electric and a metapod for our first encounters. I say put that yellow into um, a black outlining because I can barely see it. Let me have a look then. Well, I have something to share in the minute as well because uh, depending on the city, we have an encounter. I'll get more into detail in it after we've gone through the story segments in this game. In this city. Sure. Yeah, depending on the city, we have encounters here. And big news as well, Static there has lightning rod. Oh, sweet. That's probably the best ability I could have gotten for any electric, so... We did get an Eevee, a gift Eevee, but we'll put that in the box for now. Uh, you okay? My head's killing me. You got some painkillers? Can say. You better be. No. Let's make my character look unique. Let's get a jersey on her. And the most important thing... I'm gonna have to go to Pulsewick to get myself glasses. Let's make my hair look me. Okay. I'll change a ginger in a minute. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure what to think of the pixie cut. Mm. I like this. Yeah, this looks good. And then I need to, uh, for some reason, use make by makeup just to change my eye color. Huh. What a rip off. I just need contact lenses. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not need large eyebrows. Yeah. Cat eye extensions or doll eye extensions. Cat. Star studded, lovely hearts, burning passion, or total dark. Ooh, lavender eyes looks nice. Now then. That looks like as something I would use. Yes, apparently I have to pick up a key item just to lower the volume of some things. Hmm. Oh look, it's Mr. Overpopular himself. A miracle seed. This will help with the power of Mike Grookey's moves. Here you go, Funky Kong. Let's give this to Static. They'll like the special attack boot problem. I can't remember if Metapod evolves into a Butterfree at level um, 10 or 12. I've got no idea. Please tell me you can see what Meg said before they went lurking. I'm about to be your new dad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just say they like to look at the character's mum. Mm. Oh uh, yeah, um, this guy here, you'll learn to fucking hate him. Yep, a piece of work. Oh. Now, um, I already know what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to wonder if people will understand the reference. Every time I play Sword and Shield, I go for the exact same number. 69? Nope. Something a bit more unique. The number 715. Is that your birthday?
The fact that we're most stoked, and for people who don't live in the UK, it's supposed to be based on the city of Manchester. And I'm hearing a siren in my headset. It's, it's accurate. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Team Yell. Looks like a Fire Emblem character. Button mashing. Basically. As like I said, the story's not gonna be important here. Yes. According to Japan, this is what we look like. In the UK? Yeah. Team Yelp, okay. That theme slaps though. At least you got something accurate. Alright, Static, let's see what you can do. Feels weird. Usually, I struggle in this. Usually, I struggle to have a challenge in this game. Feels good. All right, so I'm gonna have to switch static out straight away now. Good going, Funky. Poke. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, thank you. Now that's right, I can fight again. Does the um, overlay look alright? Now it's been a bit. Whatever works, I guess. That's exactly good because it keeps spamming snow, isn't it? Mm. 
yeah, static ain't gonna do much in this fight. That's the Zigzagoon dead. I might as well switch out Static, because he's, he's got too many stat drops. Mine, it gets faster than yours. There we go. Nick has so far surprised me. More spamming of the the story. Maybe I should move the stream raiders thing to like in between the chat and the Pokemon. Hello, I would like to check in with room service. There better be a PlayStation up there. What type? Any. Yes, the new hit sensation, the PlayStation Any. So great. Thing is, I'm recording the gameplay as well, ready to help with a video in the future. So as well as uh, me recording this, the VOD, I'm also recording the gameplay here. So has anyone made any guesses about why the, I have the number 715? Uh, shiny hunting? And my hair is covering the number! <laughs> Never mind. Alright, I'll give it away. Search for the Pokedex number 715. Oh, it's Echo! Close. Really? Go have a look. Was well, she 14? Se search. Uh, search. yeah, she was uh, 114. 700. Yeah, Echo. Are you really surprised? <laughs> yeah. Um, the name. Noivern. No. No, Jay. When the Echo evolves, she's still called Echo. Yes, but <laughs> if you want the Pokemon name to see, it's the Pokemon name. They are, they are the best of the best when it comes to Noivern. So. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, here's a little introduction to the Galar gym leaders. One in particular might surprise you.
Here's our first one that we might be dealing with tonight. Marlo, Milo. Nessa. Kabu. Alistair. Shy Guy Boy. Opal. Melanie. And my favorite out of the eight, Raihan. There's me. <laughs> okay, I still feel a little bit on edge. It feels like things are going too well. Let's see if now I can get to that encounter in Motorstoke. And now we have the fast travel feature for things we have already been to. Out of my way! Get me after death. Sorry. I found a nugget. All right, we can get to that encounter now. Like I said, for certain cities, you're able to get an encounter. That being through fishing. So our motor still count encounter will be. Magikarp. This is big, because for people who have been through Nuzlocks, Gyarados has got to be one of the strongest members. You damn avoid my Thunder Wave. It looks sadly pathetic seeing read magic the, cards like that. Read the Pokedex, then you'll laugh your head off. This weak and pathetic Pokemon easily gets pushed along rivers when they're hungry. <laughs> yep. It's Sad and pathetic. 
You won't be seeing that when if when I'm finished with it. Apparently. a different color texture. Are you sure that's not the shiny one? The shiny one's yellow. It's just these are outdated gifts, but they're really useful. Oh, okay. What's a good animated character themed nickname for a Gyarados? Oh, I know. Depth charge. What? It's a character from a show um, in the 90s called uh, from Beast Wars. Huh. Interesting. He, he was a Maximal. And his alternate form, he turned into a Manta Ray. Oh, that's cool. And frankly, the idea of something being called, a uh, uh, Gyarados being called Death Charge sounds awesome. There we go. It's first time the team's been fully assembled. As of now, uh, it'll be a point where we can swap things out. Dibs on Hammy. Uh. Besides, it's a bit funny calling so calling Magikarp something as awesome as Depth Charge. Charge. It will make more sense when it's a uh, Gyarados, though. Yep. But for now, it's just gonna sit in the back of the party until it becomes a mindless raging beast. Or make sure it's well done for. Uh, it's not gonna take a Thunderbolt anytime soon. Oh, there was an item at the back there, wasn't there? I think I'm going to try and see how far I can go and get to this first gym. But I'll finish before we start the gym because then there's something climactic to start off with next week. Yeah, that, that makes right. sense, right? That makes sense, right? Are we stopping stream since it's been nearly two hours? Or we'll, we'll go a bit further to... um. We'll go a bit further to get to uh, the first gym, but as soon as we reach the first gym, we'll, we'll finish then. Alright. Right, I need to start picking up those Poké Dolls, because they're going to be useful if I bump into something too overleveled in the, um, in the wild area. Let's quickly jump in here so Magikarp can get rid of that paralysis. Compared to my other times going through um, Sword and Shield, this is going to be my most random team so far. Obviously there's a reason for that, but... Oh, it's going to keep telling me about this rare Pokemon at Wedgeshire Station when it's just a Galarian Slowpoke. Alright. Let's start off with Swiper for this one. Alright, time to beat down Depresso Cappuccino again. I Cappuccino. You'll see. This Oh, 
that was a waste of time. Jesus Christ, I think Wool is a bit more of a problem than I realized. Hmm. I wonder. Excuse me. I don't get to use potions, so why should you? They're not a player, they're an NPC. Razorly fantastic. Stuffed cheeks. The user eats Telt Berry, then sharply raises its defense stat. Switch over to Static to deal with his Rookie D. Now it's just Sobble. Enough of the type mastery thing. I mean, it's the truth. Hey, Metapods evolve. Jewels evolving into a Butterfree. Our Hi. first evolution in the run. Hi. This is going to be so helpful against the last gym. It collects honey every day. It rubs honey into the hairs on its legs to carry it back to its nest. 
<laughs> Toad gem. <laughs> Now you're going to have to change Jules' Pokemon status. Yes, I shall. That's why when I got Jules' uh, GIF, I also got its evolution ready. Mm. May need some adjusting though. Technically it's also our first fully evolved Pokemon as well. Yeah, it is a three-stage Pokemon. You got lucky in having it at uh, its two-stage. I have been told that Butterfree is like one of the better earlier encounters to get during those looks. Here's me saying that it's probably going to be in my final team in the in the Flippin' Champions Cup. Let's give it confusion and maybe supersonic. <sighs> there. Now it's time for our next encounter because we're in a new route. And there's one particular Pokemon I really do not want to bump into, because we've already got a grass type. Right, so our next encounter is a Galarian Zigzagoon! This is actually really good. Process. Oh, don't give me that free shake fake out. Question is, should this replace Hammy or Swiper? Because I do want to use this because it's very good. Whoa, easy with the crits there, Zigzy. Why don't I just paralyze it? Yeah, why don't you? Oh, it's gonna spam sand attack now. It's gonna be blinder no! than Static's gonna be more blinder than me. Oh. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna be here a bit until Thunder Wave hits. Oh god damn it. Minus three accuracy. Should have gone to spec savers. Minus four now. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be suffering. Oh, finally! I feel like I should just teach it Shockwave for the idea that it should never miss. Question is, who should I get rid of? Swiper or Hammy? Depends. Oh, 
are you gonna name the Zigzagoon? I've been thinking now. It's gonna take a while for Death Charge to level up. For it to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. Marty. As in the zebra? Yeah, I know it sounds wrong, but it's like, he's the only black and white kind of po uh, animal that I can think of while coming from Madagascar. I got a bad idea. The, uh, the spot. Mm, from that Spider-Man film? Nah. He's got zigzags and stripes. Uh, All of a sudden, I'm thinking of 101 Dalmatians. I don't know why. Rocket? He is a raccoon. It's out. I don't see you you getting a normal zigzagoon, so yeah, why not? Yeah, it's impossible to get a, a regular zigzagoon here. Mhm. Mm and it makes sense because of the rock. <laughs> it's based no, on rock and roll music. Right. Yeah, you're you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Uh... Something I think we can make use of. The nature's not good though, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. Okay. I think we should get rid of Hammy because obviously Swiper is a special attacking dark type. Rocket is going to be a physical one. At least until we can get some more variety of types. That's, that's the main goal of this, to get as much variety in the main team as possible. Right, so first off, let's actually get Galarian Zigzagoon's gif out. I think the one thing that's making this really long is the fact that I have to keep changing the overlay when I find a new Pokemon or want to replace one. And obviously, I, ca obviously I can't pre-prepare for that. Yeah, you kinda can. How am I supposed to know what Pokemon I'm gonna bump into? Well, not in that sense. I'll tell you after stream. Uh-oh. Did you do the... uh... thing yet? What thing? Stream reads. I guess we can do that while we're here. Getting like quiet at some points. It's like uh, my background noise. It's fine. Really is something. Oh. Okay, now my wrist is starting to. Hurt. Okay. So long! So long, sucker! I wish there was a speed up function for this. Like I do. Yours are automatically huge. I think that'll be the last one for tonight. So then I could just focus right. on getting to the gym. Ah, dang it! Let's go gambling! 
Alright, let's head back and get rid of the paralysis. I want my healer back! Thing is, um, I did a bit of pre prepare English word thinking. A bit of a, I did a bit of pre planning on the whole what Pokemon I could bump into here. Um. And on that route, I could have found a Steel type. That would have been amazing at this early on. Oh, look at the way things are going to stand up. <laughs> Yes, I know about the slow poke. Leave me alone. I should play um just Stream Raiders as a whole of on screen. Where it gets me. <laughs> yeah, we can do about the pan jam. Run away is going to help a bit. Run away! Alright. Let's get through this to get to the first C. Vulpix. How can you avoid a snarl? It's a flippin' vocal thing. Um, blocking your ears? No, that's more like it. It's a battle between foxes. Yeah. Sorry, Meg, but I'm killing Vulpix. It's not your... It's not a wild Vulpix, so you're fine. Even if I did bump into a Vulpix, I wouldn't be able to use it. Like I said, outside of battle, I'm okay to heal. Alright, calm down. I was finding out if, how to see if there's a downloadable client. It's for fucking goddamn. Whoops, I didn't realize I was a counter there. Oh, I could have bumped into Rocket Lee here. No. See what you can do, Jewel. Now it's your first ever battle being a buffering. Ah, very good. Wait, what? I never saw that coming. What? The... Huh? I know you did not just do that. Whoa, hang on here now. That was not a bad idea, bad idea. Also a bad idea. Oof, Jewel's the only good counter against fighting types. I might, I might need to keep an eye on that. Is that the... Is that what... It keeps... 
Okay, ow. Um, let's do this. Am I actually in trouble here? Oh, maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe not. M M Funky Kong's shown up. He's come to show us all how it's done. Yeah, Funky Kong is actually carrying this team so far. <laughs> and they said... <laughs> Whoops, dropped, a, dropped my lucky penny. And they said grass types were bad Pokemon. <sighs> I nearly lost for being static there. Have to beat the gym leader before you can heal. Yeah, and after you beat the gym leader, you can heal. That is evil. And uh, as you said as well. I have to fight every trainer heading up to the gym. I don't have any bug type moves, do I? You made a bad choice. <laughs> that only took one bit of damage. Poison powder. I think sleep powder would be better. Yeah, I'll get sleep powder on uh, Butterfree. Ten more levels and I've got Gyarados. Yep, that would have been the bad thing for me to get here. Man, it really took a long time for Static to level up there. Yeah, yeah, factory, big man. Woohoo. Give me rope. Give me the rope. Give me the rope. Thank you. I have rope.
Oh, if I knew they were going to do that. Alright. Roly Colies. It would have been impossible for me to get one of these. Because they only spawn in this part of the area. Let's put Funky Kong at the front, because they're not fire type shit. So they'll be able to help if we bump into one. But first off, I'm going to pick up some berries from this tree. Beat up. Use it gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater number of attacks. Oof. Dirty. Loop. Three roast and one petcher. Wish I could do something about magic cups being so under leveled, but hey, it's a magic cup. What can you do? I think I know what I would call um, a Perloin if I found that. I can nickname it Keepo. Oh, I should have named Grookey Scarlamane. I really do recommend that show if anyone hasn't seen it yet. It's still on Netflix if I'm not mistaken. Getting scary. Okay. That was actually kind of scary. Let's give Rocket a chance. Of course I bumped into a fucking tantrum. I don't want to risk um, getting hit by a uh, fine time move from now. A Delibird, huh? Let's head, buddy.
I'm not complaining that he's not doing anything to me. Baby doll eyes. A good priority status move, that one. This will give us a nice teleport point. And a cherry berry. Oh, it would have been good to bump into a sizzler beat. I think I know where we can get one though. Ooh, a crit head but flinch. Dang it. Switch to jewel for that one. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy. Looking on that. Oh, that light screen saved it as well. Key Kong's evolving. Ah, uh, very good. We have a Flacky now. Oh, right, I need to change that. <laughs>
When it's drumming out repeated beats in battle, it gets so caught up in the rhythm that it won't even notice that it's already knocked out its opponent. <laughs> Double hit. Yes, please. I need to try and get Jewel up a bit, especially by the time I get to the gym. I may not be doing the gym this week, but it'd be good to get that sorted out. Oh, I could have gone a month break. Ooh, that's not good. Super Potion. All right, time for our new encounter, Tori. Here we go. Obviously, with this being a cave, we might see a lot of fighting, steel, ground, and rock types. Obviously, I'll keep my eyes closed at what as soon as I enter. Right. Did I get any? Yeah. Uh. Um, you're not heading anything. Oh, there we go. If anything, you're obviously avoiding them. Ooh, a roly coli. Wow. A female roly coli. Well, there were two in there. I don't think it really matters. You could even get Drillbur in here, and Drillbur's amazing. Huh. I'm looking. I'll... Hmm. I'll keep this in the box as a... as a backup. It can race around like a unicycle, even on rough rocky terrain, burning coal sustains it. Ember. I'll name it Ember. Okay. You know, the character in um, Elemental. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was only two really coolly. Yeah. See, look, there was a. There's Diglett there. Diglett might have been useful. Drill. Star piece, good money. Oh, I need to look and run out. I guess I better switch back to Funky Kong to deal with the uh, rough type. That looks better. <laughs> okay. I'm just waiting for something to go wrong.
What the? I didn't know you could do that. That's a level 18 car call. Hi. I need to be careful of that. Timber. Staying in for that. Good, good. Not good, not good, no. Ooh, there we go, our first death. Jewel, no! That was gonna get me for We have lost our first Pokemon! That was gonna get me for the first gym! I didn't know I was gonna have Rockfall! Oh. Looks like I'm using that Rolly Coley faster than I expected. I didn't. I shouldn't have jinxed it earlier. Oh, she's gonna have three timbers, ain't she? And that means species claws as well. So I can't use another member of the Butterfree line ever again in this run. Didn't last long. I guess that means I'm putting Butterfree on the first on the tombstone on episode two. Maybe that's what those loggers mean when I need to um have fun. Well keep track of uh, movesets so you know the fighting types also contain rock moves. Maybe I should have just sleep powder instead. Uh, I guess we're getting Ember out early. Wait, they're not dead? Yeah, they are. Once they faint, they can't come back. No, I mean, the Pokemon I put in the reserves were in the dead box. Oh, okay. Welcome to the team, Amber. Get Rolly Coley's thing out.
Good thing I'm planning to do some like grinding off camera to try and get the experience candy so Ember can catch up to Funky Kong. Okay, I should stop having a lead strike at the front. over there so see people can see the more information. <laughs> It's gonna be a bit before Ember can work, but hey, like I said, I'm not doing the gym battle until I've, um, next week and I'll be able to grind the others into the right levels then. Mainly just so they've caught up with Flacky. You'll at least be in the gym area, right? When you uh, come back, you'll be at the gym? Yeah, basically I'll be um, finishing up outside the gym that's outside... Oh. I'll be finishing up outside the Pokemon Center that's near the gym. Okay. Right, now I gotta deal with this tool. Uh, let's heal up Swiper first, I don't know if I'll have any fairy moves. Poor Butterfree. Which direction, mate? Which direction? Mm. 
because I'll be slapping you in that direction. What did I say about using Beat Up? That being said, it nearly knocked it out. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Wait, what up? Oh boy! I don't want two deaths on my first go. Assurance. That'd be useful if we got an antenna. Our mist is a fairy wood. The timing voice. Oh god. Thank god Zigzagoon is very bulky. So damn pathetic about it. Just because it Zigzagoon being tickled isn't the only re that is just because the uh, and English ah mm. Just because of Zigzagoon getting tickled isn't the only reason why he's laughing. Yeah, okay. Bye. I got more riled up on Twitter than you. Wow. That says something because I barely go on Twitter these days. Yeah, that really does say something. People don't have a problem with you, um, like, dealing with levels off-camera, right? Because, like, that's the main thing I'm thinking about right now, just so it's easier for me to deal with, like, make sure that no Pokémon is losing their potential. And that, those Iron Barriers will be helpful. There. Berries are the splice of life of Nuzlocke, from what I've heard. Alright, new encounter. Thinking about it, I would really like an Eevee. I'm not counting that other Eevee as a species clause, because it was like a gift and it kind of all. So it's not really a point of anything. Alright.
Oh, there we go. Actually worked. I got an Eevee. Alright. Shit. What am I gonna evolve the Eevee into? The nickname is determined on what it's going to evolve into. Yeah. Maybe we should find a name that fits all types? Or a name that has a multi meaning? Like, it's. Um, Oh, stop breaking out. I'm trying to give you a better life. <laughs> Thing is, I've already gotten water, grass, and electric in the team at the moment. So I can't have Jolteon, Vaporeon, or Leafeon. Come on! This Eevee doesn't want to stay on the ball! Low health, it's paralyzed, it doesn't have a reason to do this. It's not even shaking. I just had an idea of what could be called. Mm. Ruby. Oh. Olé, olé. From... Well, Ruby. Oh, okay. Because I'm thinking right now, that uh, scythe slash uh, sniper rifle she has. It can have different elements on it. Oh yeah, that's that's clever. There you go. You find it. Oh, finally. I think it just wanted to wait until it had a name. Yeah. So next week I'll have everyone up to par with um, Funky Kong. Ruby the Eevee. I'm hoping that's a unisex name because Ruby is a male. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. High special attack. That might impact its evolution. Imagine you end up with a Jolteon. I want it to be a Jolteon, that's my favorite evolution. But obviously I'm trying yeah, to keep... That's why I'm not considering it right away. As soon as I get over to that Pokemon Center, we're done. Things a steel type. God dang it, I could have placed it here. You can just imagine Meowth going ding a ding a there again. Honestly, Swipe has been surprising me. Actually, yeah, it should still be free. Seed up. Ooh, steam engine. Oh, you're really gonna rub it in. Oh. Look what the next train is bringing out. They're rubbing it in, aren't they? It's okay. I'm gonna have flipping mental relapses every time I see a butterfly now, aren't I? <laughs> it's fine. Amber, that does not work for me. Please hit the Butterfree. Amber. It's just like what happened with you. Rock polish. Your sheep hit me. Ah! Fuck you. <laughs> 
You know I'm going to be clipping that and making it into a sound on the soundboard now. Bah! Fuck you! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not bothered. Good, I'll be playing it whenever I, uh, I'm joining in a voice chat on your streams now. Bah! Fuck you. I hope you know that I will have, like, those, uh, intro sounds when you- when you join in on Discord. Off. Oh, dang it. There. Not a bad start. We do have a firewater grass core. Hopefully. I hope it's not a bad start. Yes, Pokemon Camp. Look at all the four legged guys. And then there's the magic up. It's a little rascal, isn't it? I don't think these guys like me yet. Yeah. Ember's <laughs> like it. <laughs> Alright then. That'll be it for the first episode of the Nuzlocke. Yeah, are there any other regular Nuzlockers out there? I have to know. How was that for a start? Because, uh... I don't know. Like we lost, we've already lost a member, and we haven't even gotten into the first gym. And especially since Butterfree was going to be a massive help in the gym. Ooh. Either way, um, here we are. We got Funky Kong, Rocket, Swiper, Static, Ember, and Dev Charge. And we've got uh, Ruby, Hammy, and. I'm forgetting the last one. I've got to check in the boxes. Depth charge, ember, static, swiper, rock, and Hong Kong. Oh, the boxes. All oh, right, the second EV that we're not going to use.
So they have been going huh? here all the time. Fuck. Oh, fucking. If anything, I'd like to ask you guys for some help here. What do you think we should evolve Ruby into? L let me know in the comments, all right? Um, we'll take into effect of what, what we can be. Obviously, it's going to have to take into effect that we've already got a grass type, a dark type, a water type. So we can't have Vol J Jolteon, Umbreon, Leafeon, or Vaporeon. At the moment, I think the best case scenario may be Glaceon. Because the ice type this early could help. But it's also down to if I find an ice stone. But yeah, please let me know what you think I should have all that Eevee into for this Nuzlocke, and uh, that'll be it for today. If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Like I said, we'll be doing this every Friday, and the video should be uploaded by Monday of the next week. And yeah, that'll be all for today, and um, it's a goodbye from Tori. Bye-bye! And it's a goodbye from me. See ya!